Hello you guys, so today we're going to be talking about Botticera. It's basically like a front end for your emulators, uh, your game systems. It, it allows you to play all these different ISOs and ROMs, whatever you have backed up. But um, I came into a problem. I'm sure uh, the Botticera community has also came into this issue, but they probably know what to do right off the bat. So we're going to bring it to everybody and bring it to light because I haven't seen too many videos on this topic it seems like not many people really talk about it, or they're very specific, like one thing. Like, um, the best places to really solve Botticera problems is, like, from what I've heard, Discord. They, they have a Discord. And um, I've been doing, like, Reddit searches on how to do everything. But the problem is, I'm on version 37. I'm on version 40 right now, if you can see on the side over here. I actually did manage to get version 40. I don't know exactly how I did it, but we, we I went through a lot, but we figured it out. Um, so, I'm on version 37. I'm using the self-updater on the system. It's got its own updater. I want everything to be completely up to date. This way, hopefully, the games will play better, and just all the bugs will be out of the system in general. But, it's kind of... I don't know, I'm not sure, but overall, I managed to get version 40. Um, the problem was, when you go to update version 37, it'll tell you, basically, you're, you're out of storage, you don't have enough storage, and that is because the, oper the operating system is all downloaded on, and the update is all downloaded onto the one partition. Now, you have two partitions, or technically three, but the one partition is the system, the Botticera Linux system, and just the updates and then the other is your games your storage your music files etc problem is that partition is only eight, six gigabytes when you're at 37 when you go to 38 I believe it turns it goes to eight um, but even then so I'm at 37 I'm like okay well what I got to do is I just got to download 39 from the Botticera website so I downloaded um, version 39 and I wanted version 40 to be completely up to date. And the same thing happened. It said not enough space to download the current update. I'm like, oh my goodness, really? So um, I go back. I'm pretty sure I go through like a whole bunch of things where I'm trying to extend the... Basically, I'm trying to clone the partition. I'm trying to make a larger partition size, extend the partition. Now, I don't know exactly how I got down to it and actually figured it out. I'm not sure if I was able to actually extend that partition to 10 gigs. I feel like that's what I did, but I don't know exactly how I got to manage to be able to update it. I think it took me like a good... It took me all night, basically, to figure out how to get to version 40. And I'm sure I'm probably one of like a very small group of people using the newest update. But I want to be able to experience everything that the Botticera uh, developers are capable of putting out. Even if it is a little bit, you know, buggy, I just want to be able to see what they're able to put out. And so far, between version 37 or 36, whatever I had, and now, I don't know if it's super buggy. But what I do realize is YouTube. YouTube finally is working. Now I had YouTube on Flatpak. I would use, um, I believe it's called Minitube. And I go back, I think it was yesterday or the day before, I go to use Minitube and Minitube is broken. It doesn't work. It's on version 37. I'm like, you know what? I see the newer versions. I see they're starting to implement like a nicer setup so was, everything's a little easier to use. Again, we still had the ability to play like run like Windows games. Now I believe you could set up a Windows account. Well, you could use not set up, but you can use your Windows account on Botticera. I'm pretty sure I haven't tested it. Uh, same thing with Steam. You can get your Steam in there, but they're making everything a little bit more streamlined as they update, and that's kind of how it should be. You know, um, every update I'm expecting to have a YouTube app, a legitimate YouTube app. You know, Linux is uh, it's a hard, um, it's a hard community to get into right off the bat. But 
Yeah, if you guys know anything about that, as far as getting from version 39 to 40, I don't know how I did it, but I figured I would ask the community, and uh, this is one of the videos, I haven't been putting out many lately, this is one of the videos that I felt had a little bit more um, meaning that I should put out, and maybe it'll help others, because I'm sure everyone else is having, a few other people are having the same issue, and nobody's talking about it. Or maybe they are, but they're talking about it on Discord, or they're talking about it on, um, you know, Reddit, but they're not talking about it here, so that's the problem. Um, but yeah, so far, like I said, I got YouTube working, I use it through Kodi Center, and it works pretty well, the search bar is pretty good, much, much easier than, um, going through Flatpak, unless there's an update on Flatpak, I think it was a lot easier. Also, another thing, I don't know if they just added this, but now I'm able to, um, now I'm able to actually look at my hard drive from the network that it actually call it says Botocera, and I can add basically all my files, my BIOSes. I know a lot of people, they were like, oh, well, the newer ones, they make you add the BIOS. I don't know if the older ones made you add the BIOS. I'm pretty sure you had to add the BIOS. But basically, I don't have to keep ripping my system out. I don't have to keep ripping my keyboard out for the system. The system, I can completely, pretty much control the files on my main computer, which I do over here. I got, uh, I basically just open up the network, and if I have to add any BIOS files, or um, if I want to add anything small to it, I can. It isn't the quickest as far as, um, you know, downloading the ROMs to the system, or moving the ROMs to the system, I should say, but it helps, because you don't, like I said, you don't have to rip out the hard drive and put it on your computer every time you want to add stuff to it, so I don't know if that that was a new feature, again, I, there's a, a lot of questions, but I don't know if that's a new feature, but that is a very nice feature, and if you guys aren't using that with your Botocera, I definitely recommend doing that, because I don't know. The system, when it comes to working with all the files, are very small. Like, the files just look very small on the TV, so it's just easier to do it on your main rig and not have to worry about pulling out the keyboard for that. So, that being said, thanks again, guys, for watching. Uh, if, this, if this video helped you at all, please feel free to like and subscribe. Uh, we're going to have a lot more videos to come. Every day we're just thinking of new ideas and we're going to keep them coming. Thanks again, guys.